Welcome to Devices Setup channel and today we will learn what to do if your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender says no internet or is not connecting to the router or Wi-Fi extender keeps getting disconnected or maybe Wi-Fi extender SSID is not showing up in your Wi-Fi list. So this troubleshooting guide works for all TP-Link Wi-Fi extender models be it RE215, RE220, RE650, RE700X, RE815X, etc, etc. So you follow this guide and your extender will start working again. So to start with, first of all, check if you have internet on the router. If not, then get in touch with your internet service provider. Else, if you have internet on the router, then try placing the extender a bit closer to the router, maybe in the same room. Now check again if you still have the issue. If yes, then simply reset the TP-Link extender. You can do that by putting a paper clip inside the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. After 10 seconds, release the pin and wait for around 120 seconds until the extender reboots properly. Also, make sure no ethernet cable should be attached to the extender. After successful reset, extender SSID will show up in your Wi-Fi list as TP-Link extender. You can watch videos on our channel on how to set up your TP-Link extender again from scratch in just two minutes. After setting it up again, if the extender still says no internet, then we recommend you to log in into the router and change the 2.4 GHz channels. You can try changing the channels to 1, 6, 9 or 11. And in case if you don't know how to log in into the router, then watch our video. The link to the video is given in the description. Also, after this, reboot your modem, router and extender. You can do that by unplugging all these devices from power for around 2 minutes and then plug them back in. And if you still have the issue, then try updating the firmware of the extender. Watch our video on how to do it. And if even after firmware update 2, extender is not working the last thing that i would recommend you to do is to try to log into your router's web management page and then change the security type to wpa2 psk or wpa3 psk because wep or other security types sometimes don't work with the extender and i am pretty sure this will surely resolve your issue if yes then please do consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up so see you beautiful people in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.